Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Torrance. So I'm holding in my hand two discs. The first is an original of Karateka from 1984 by Jordan Mechner. And the second unmarked disc was just uploaded by Jason Scott to the Internet Archive. And this is labeled as the Mechner Karateka Cheat Disc. And apparently it was a disc that was used for testing before the game had any copy protection applied to it and presumably contained some cheat codes to allow for easy testing. So we're gonna go ahead and see what the differences are between the cheat disc and the final published disc. So let's get started. So far, both discs have the same intro screen and the same initial text. They also have the same intro music. The demo battle seems more or less the same, except again, at the end, the music is just slightly different between the cheat disc and the final release disc. By poking around in the assembly code, I actually found two new cheat codes which presumably were used for testing. The first of these is control D, which I think stands for death for enemies, and this reduces the guy that you're fighting down to one hit point. The second one is control right bracket, and this actually advances you to the next level, which you can imagine would be very useful when you're actually trying to test. So when using the control right bracket, I found that it wasn't always very consistent. It sometimes took you to the level within the gate, then sometimes to the level below the stairs, and if you use it more than a couple times, it actually takes you to the middle of the blue level and the game freezes up. So there's something a little bit quirky about the control right bracket key. I also didn't find any differences in the ending of the game other than a couple minor notes that are different. So I think those were all of the changes, at least as far as I found. If you found any more changes, please feel free to comment below or create your own video. Cool. So let's try the two different endings. First, I won't bow to the princess and we'll see what happens. Okay. So she still kills you. And now we'll go ahead and we'll bow to the princess.
All right, so there you have it. The cheat disk has a couple new control codes. There's one to kill any enemy and then another one to advance to another level. Uh, there were some sound differences in a couple of the little sound sequences, but other than that, it looks pretty close to the actual shipping version. So maybe next episode, I'll go into how I actually tore apart the assembly code and found those extra key codes. But for now, I think that's it for this episode. So thanks for watching.